In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Hoenn Champions Stadium timetable. And first of all, we're going to have a brief look at the timetable first. Afterwards, we'll go in depth with the stages. And uh, a total of 16 stages will be taken a look into. Let's have a brief look at the stages first. Starting off from left to right with Sydney. Sydney with Federic Absol, Dark Flying Honchkrow, Dark Dragon, Hydreigon, Pure Dark Type Absol, Flying with Cacturn with Pure Grass Type Serena and Sceptal, Grass and Dark Type Cacturn. Bugwig Shift Tree with Lipart and Maitiana, both Pure Dark, Grass, Dark Type for Shift Tree. Phoebe with uh, Ghost Week Dustnor, Pure Ghost Type is Magius, Pure Ghost Type Dustnor, and Dark and Fire Type Chandelure. Dark Wig Bennett with uh, Pure Ghost Type Bennett, Ghost Poison Type Gengar, and uh, Fire Ghost Type Lunamarek. Electric Wig Drift Bloom, Ghost Flying Type Drift Bloom, Sigif and Zatu are both uh, Psychic Electric. Glacia with Fire Wig Frostlass, Ghost, Ghost and Ice Type. SQ is a pure ice type. Jinx is psychic and ice. Fighting type Warren. Uh, Warren is water and ice with uh, Dugong and Cloyster also water and ice. Steel with Glalie, pure ice type uh, Glalie, pure ice type Veninox, a rock and ice type Aurora's. Dragon weak Kindra. Uh, Dragonite is a flying and dragon type. Dragology is dragon and poison. Kindra is water and dragon. Rock Weak Sandiments. All three Noivern, Sandiments, and Dragon are Flying and Dragon. Ice Weak Flygon. Uh, two Gartons by the side. All, all of them are Ground and Dragon. In the center, with Metagross being a Steel and Psychic type, Cedix is Ground and Steel. Duradon is Steel and Dragon. Poison Weak Ludicolo. Ludicolo is Grass and Water with Abominable Snow, Grass and Ice. Parasec is uh, Bug and Grass. Psychic with Tentacruel being a water and poison type, Arbok and Survivor of Pure Poison. Water with Agron being rock and steel, Pokemon rock and steel, Rampartus is pure rock. Grass with Claydol, and uh, Claydol is a ground and psychic type, Soul Rock and Ludito are both grass and psychic. So here's a brief look at all of this, and yeah, you can see some of the stages are pretty hard, some of them are not so hard. And of course, we have a third Drift Bloom because why not? Let's look at uh, some of the stages in uh, detail. So let me go in here. Let us take a look at um, Sydney first. Sydney. Let me go all the way down. Sydney. Give me a quick sec. Sydney, Sydney, Sydney. There we go. So for uh, Sydney, a very weak. And the first stage is Absol with close combat, Brutal Swing, Water Post, X Defense, all, Thunder Wave, and X Special Attack. All. So if you have Summer Marty, you can use uh, Summer Marty to lower the Special Attack because uh, Water Post is a special move. And uh, Close Combat and Brutal Swing are both physical. Close Combat can lower the Defense and Special Defense of Absol. And nothing too much here. Of course, you can try to uh, confuse it, you can try to paralyze it, and has Grand Entry. So Grand Entry boosts uh, Absol's special attack by 2 when entering the battle. And of course we have the Big Brain Gold Viral Knight which causes everyone to be paralyzed. After it Megas, it actually has a special set, Dark Pulse, which is a special type move. And will be advantage from the X special attack that uh, Absol has at, at the start. Brutal Swing and Night Slash are both physical. Night Slash has a high crit chance and Brutal Swing hits everyone. Unfortunately, it, has, it also has Paralysis Synergy. So, Pokemon that are paralyzed will have 30% boost, 30% uh, extra 30% damage. And, um, of course, Night Slash has a high chance to crit. It's not good either. And Dark Pulse has a chance to flinch, which is not good. Sides with Flame for a Brutal Swing, Heat Wave, uh, Drill Pack, and Heat Wave. And they also have a chance to Paralyze, has a Paralysis Energy as well. So the attacks are also boosted if you're Paralyzed, which is not good. Of course, X, defense, X Special Defense All, X Speed All, and X Defense All, X Special Attack All in a stage as well. I think it's okay, not too difficult, but if you only have like Lunala as a Fairy Striker, not good because it's way too dark. Hopefully you have a good fairy type, uh, Diantha, 
uh, any like Whimsicott, um, Grimmsnarl, that would be good. Not too difficult so far. We've got um, Flying Weak Sydney with a Cag Turn. With Dark Pulse, Fan Attack, Booted Seed, X Defensor, X Special Attack All, and X Evasionist All. Dark Seam Beam. Let's Trap 7, No Quarter, Team P1, Entry 1, Catalyst, Outsmart 9, Outsmuggle 9. So if you miss an attack, Cag Turn's Attack and Special Attack will be boosted by 1, and of course, plus the Evasionist, because why not? Dark Pulse is a special move. Fan Attack and Booted Seed are uh, physical. And Booted Seed always hits 5 times due to no quarter. This is really scary with um, never missing Fan Attack and a chance to flinch you with Dark Pulse. So, yeah. Sceptile with Swift Energy Ball and Earthquake. Outsmart and Outsmoker as well. Serena with Razor Leaf and Trop Kick. X Attack All and X Special Defense All. And of course, if you miss, the attack and special attack will raise as well. Not good either. Uh, with the Master Fairy Lugia, we've got uh, Nate, we've got Blue, Gyarados, Rayquaza. We have a lot of good flying type strikers. So I think this stage would not be too difficult, but you have to be careful with missing a move. So I think we're good to go here. For the next stage, um, we've got uh, Bugwick Shift Tree. C-Bomb, Fain Attack, Snar, X Special Defense, or Dark Wish, Special Shield. So, uh, if you forgot about Dark Wish, Dark Wish basically sets up a field which boosts all Dark type moves by 50%, which is really scary. And the only way to get rid of it is switching up zones, which is not good. We have Dragon Zone, Ghost Zone, Steel Zone, Bug Zone, uh, Ground Zone in the future. And what this, this stage is supposed to do is to you set up a bug wish to to get over the dark wish, which I don't have, and I think a lot of people don't have that. Umbreal Power 3, Team P1 Entry 1, Fanfare 2, Rainy Rush 2. So raises attack and special attack by 2 when Shift Tree uses Sig Move. We also have boosting uh the power when the Dark Wish field is on. Mightyana with Crunch and Iron Tail X Speed All with a Umbra Acceleration which boosts the speed when there's Dark Wish. Beauty Light Heart with Snarl, Swift, and Hyper Voice, X Speed All. Again, boosting the speed when there's Dark Wish, which is not good. What I would say is wishes are really hard to deal with. Either do it pre-sync or try to use another wish. Can be Ghost Wish, Dragon Wish, which I think more people have. You can use these wishes to overcome the Dark Wish, which would be, I think, a rather good idea instead of forcing yourself to actually use, um, uh, instead of forcing yourself to use Bug Wish. Or just off type, try to do the pre sync, and hopefully you don't get affected by the Dark Wish. So that's my uh, brief advice for all these three stages. So um, let's move on to the next stage, which is Phoebe. Phoebe, Dark Wake, and our first stage is Phoebe and Bennett. Shadow Ball, Ominous Wind, Shadow Sling, X Speed, Ghost Wish, and Unbreakable Bonds. Unbreakable Bonds is the lower the HP it is, the higher the attack it boosts and uh, recharges the, uh, the move got as well. As I just mentioned, wishes are hard to deal with, but if you have Signals of Cyrus, which I think a number of you actually have, you can replace the Ghost Wish with your Dark Wish, which would be a good idea. Of course, Shadow Ball has a chance to lower the special defense. Ominous Wind has a chance to get an Omni boost, 10%, which is not good. And X Beetle as well. We've got Sentry Entry times 2, which um, physical moves are not recommended. Haunted Power 2 and Haunted Acceleration 3, which boost the ghost type attacks or boost all attacks when there's a ghost zone, which is by 30%. And boost the speed by 40%. Brand new rush also raises the special attack after Bennett uses Sing Move. It's regular Bennett, not Mega. Shadow Ball Psychic, Sludge Wave, X Special Defense All from the Gengar, and a Shadow Bone Flame Charge and Earthquake from the Alolan Marowak. Again, they both have Sentry Entry times 2, no physical moves. They also have Haunt Acceleration and Haunt Power 2. So their attacks will be boosted under the Ghost Zone, which is not good. 
Again, either try to do it pre-sync or try to replace the zone with maybe dark or bug, dark, uh, steel, whatever zone. Dragon. I think this thing hits hard, so be careful with zone stages. Next stage, uh, we got an electric weak drift bloom. Shadow Ball, Body Slam, Ominous Wind, X, X Special Defense All, Condition Shield, and X Special Attack All. So, uh, Shadow Ball, Lower the Special Defense, Body Slam can Paradise, Ominous Wind can give you Omni Boost, X Special Defense All, uh, X Special Attack All, whatever. Condition Shield prevents uh, status conditions, including like Burn, Freeze, par Paralysis, but it has a healthy advantage for it, so you have to give it a status condition. Do it before it gets the Condition, condition Shield up. High Five One is giving a Omni Boost after using uh, her first sync, which is scary. But I think this stage is not too hard because Paralysis is not hard to deal with. It's not too hard to inflict. So as we have Psychic, Shadow Ball, Heat Wave, um, Ramp Up One as well. Wow. And uh, Side Beam, Air Slash, Heat Wave with X Defense all as well. And they can raise their speed when they want to. Again. Focusing on paralysis is a good idea, which should not be too hard to set up. I think this stage is not too hard, but that dark stage above is really scary. You should be careful about this. Ghost, Wake, Dust, Nor. We have Shadow Ball, Ominous Wind, Earthquake, X Speed All, Unbreakable Bonds, and X Special Attack All. Lonely Flower Shadow Punch is a physical move, and Shadow Ball and Ominous Wind are special, Earthquake is physical. Of course, uh, the same thing again with Fierce Entry 1 and Central Entry 2, Wise Entry 2. So raise the attack by 1, raise defense by 2, uh, raise the attack by 2, and it has Haymaker, which really sucks. Maybe do pre-sync so you don't have to deal with the Haymaker problem. Of course, you can try to lower the attack with a full Morty as well. Shandon Lure with Shadow Ball Heal with Physical Shield. And physical shield is a problem. Miss Magius having psychic icy wind, special shield. Um, I don't know why they have to put up shield here, but if you don't have, you, if you don't crit your moves, you're going to have a hard time dealing with shields. But anyway, you're going to probably set them up with your maximum anyway, so not not a big much of a problem. Icy wind can lower your speed. Psychic can lower your special defense. Heat wave can burn you as well, which is rather scary. And I think I misread this because Sentry Entry times 2 is preventing physical moves. But this is not preventing physical moves. So you can just use a, your regular Annie, Liddy, Cynthia, Adister, Morty. Should crush the Sage pretty easily. So no worries about this. But I want to go, go back very quickly about this stage here. We have a decent number of Dark types. But I think you have to use like Karen, Zorark, uh, and Zorark. And uh, Cyrus because they're special. Physical, uh, physical dark types like uh, Full Hubert, uh, Max Royale are also good. But the problem is you've got Sandra Entry times two, which the um, dark physical moves are really not suggested here. So be careful of that when you're planning for week two. And I think we can move on to um, Glacia. For Glacia, we have Fighting Week War Rain with Blizzard, Icicle Spear, Ice Beam, X Speed All, and Attention here. Hydro Pump as well. The problem with War Rain is it attacks really hard. And it has also Sentry Entry 3, Wise Entry 3, Build Up, No Quarter, and Peace of Gate. So Blizzard always hits, which is not good. It also raises the special defense and defense by 3 at the start of the battle. With build up, which crits, the first move always crits after the sync. Attention here is uh, raising special attack by two, so nothing too much here. Cloister having water pulse, bubble beam, special shield, and blizzard, and the dugong here have bubble beam, ice beam, and blizzard as well. Nothing too much, and physical shield as well. I don't know why these balls are decide to have shields now, just as strange. But anyway, I think this heart is not too to deal with. Any regular fighting types can deal with it. Kaleo always the best. 
lowered the defense, special defense, and speed. You can have a sick new X well. So I'm not gonna go through this too much. I think this day is rather easy. Fire Week Frost Blast with Blizzard, Icy Wind, Draining Kiss, X Speed, or Hail Attention here. Snow Shelter, Cold Front, Inveal Gaining Hail 2, Heavy Hail 5, Hail and Hardy, Healing Hail, Team Pimo NC2, and Lesson Burn 7, Sing Reagent, and Master Healer 2. So, um. The issue I'm having here is hell. Because it really relies on hell. If you take away the weather, I think you are just almost golden. Almost golden. I'm not exactly sure. I think you're almost golden here. Because everything Frostas has is based on hell. Sunny day, rain. Um, Sandstorm can prevent this problem And Master Hero really doesn't do much here We've got Psychic, Icy Wind, Blizzard, X Defense Saw um, We've got the Hydro Pump, Icy Wind and Blizzard One more thing is Ice SQ has Ice Face and Noise Face So Ice Face breaks when hit by a physical move So if you're going for like um, Hilda for example if you use like a physical move on the SQ at first, the ice face will break and become noise face. But when it's in hell, it will form its ice face back quickly. So be careful. Huh, Glacier and Glady. With Blittered, Ice Beam, Shadow Ball, X Defense All, and Special Shield, Glacial Freeze Dry, which is a Mega Glady, and it has Sentry Entry times 2 which you cannot use a physical attackers again, which sucks. The Venenax has Blizzard and Flash Cannon XD, X Special Defense Saw. Aurora's has Blizzard and Psychic X Speedo as well. Again, Sentry Entry 2, make sure to use the special moves. Okay, for special steel types, the only one we have is actually Raihan and like Egg Magneton. So, you could try to use a special attacker. Any end, for example. Could have been a better result than using your um, Steven, for example. So pay attention to um, this, this thing here. Sentry Entry to for the Glady. We've got um, Hail problems for uh, the Frostlass. And defense and special defense buffing problems for a war rain. War rain, you can use literally anyone. Wally, you can use. Maylene, you can. No, no, no. B, you can use. Um, Keldeo. Buzzwool, you can use. Even I think May and Lopani is okay. But like, you have to be careful with um, this um, century entry problem here. From the Warrain and the Glady, because the Glady ha is very, von very uh, resistant to the physical moves, and same as the size. Another thing is Blizzard and Ice Beam has a ten percent to freeze, which be careful about that because no one wants your Pokemon to be frozen. And yeah, Blizzard always hits hundred percent during Hail. That is scary as well. If it has an accuracy boost, expect Blizzard to hit every single time. So yeah, scary scary. Let's take a look at um Drake. Drake. First stage is Ice Week Flygon with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Brutal Swing. X speed all, hard to starboard and X attack all. Hard to starboard raises defense by two while giving a move gauge boost to the field. Nothing too much here. And wise entry two. Oh, so you cannot use you cannot use the special attackers for here. Oh boy. It's okay. 
It's okay, no problem, no problem. I think a lot of you guys actually don't even use Getsis, you use Ice um, Ice Caddy, which isn't a problem here. Let's then Freeze 5, we've got Sand Kicker, Dust Kicker, Sand Superiority 3, Sand Pep Rally 9. Focusing on Freezing would be a good choice because it's less Freeze than 5. Gosh Hump with Earthquake Iron Head and Earthquake Iron Head as well. And they have Wise Entry times 2 as well, be careful about that. Of course, I Ice Caddy, uh, SQ, or both Ice types are physical, you can use. Summer Steven is physical as well. I think the only one we have is Price and Getsis, which is special. You can even use Candice, which is physical with Ice Punch, and the same move is physical as well. Dragon Weak, Kenra. <sighs> Outrage, Twister, Rainfall, X Speed All. We've got Rain Dance and X Attack All. Um, a passive with Trap, Clear Headed, Downpour, Acute Sense 4, Raging Rain, Shower Power 5, Racing Rain 5. Acute Sense 4, based on what we know, if you give it a Sync Reagent, this Acute Sense 4 actually cancels out. So no worries about that. Rain on the hand is an issue, but if you can just pre-sync with Sims Serena, uh, Champion Iris, you can do it with um, any Raihan, any Leon, um, you can do it with Sims Cynthia, Lance. We have so many dragon type options, so like no there's no need to worry here. Aqua Tail, Waterfall, Surf, X Special Defense All, We've got Dragon Claw, Waterfall, and Earthquake from the Dragon and Dragology as well. Not too difficult, I think it's okay. We've got Rock Weak Salamence as well. Um, Earthquake, Brutal Swing, and Dragon Crawl. Special Shield, Hard to Starboard, and X Attack all. Hold on. It's almost the same thing uh, with Flygon. So, like. Train Body 3, Sentry Entry 1, Tough Cookie, Slow Mo 9. Tough Cookie is the higher the defense, the, the harder the attack hits, which is not good. We've got Outrage, Bulldoze, and Rock Side from the Dragonite. We've also got Noiver with Dragon Claw, Flame Forward, X Speed All, and a Heat Wave. But based on what I know, a lot of you guys don't have problems with Rock Stages. You can actually use Emmet, uh, Use Diancy, you can use uh, Olivia, and you can also use um, Aerodactyl as well. So, not much of an issue, but I think you have to be careful of the burns, speed drops, Outrage hitting hard, Rock Side will flinch, and like these moves don't have extra effects, so like, there's nothing to talk about. Uh, waterfall can flinch you, um, Waterfall can flinch, Twister can flinch, Outrage, uh, does a lot of damage, but be careful. And like, yeah, Iron Head can flinch. For sand and rain issues, again, either do it pre-sync or change the weather based on your likings. Uh, you can do this with um, rain, sun, hail, sandstorm, whatever. But just don't repeat the weather effect with the boss. For example, Flygon using sand, you can use hail, you can use rain, you can use sun. Kendra using rain, just use sun, hail, or sandstorm. Don't over that, please. We're gonna end this with Steven. The first thing we're gonna cover is aggro on Wheat's Water. With I Head, Rock Tomb, X Defense All, X Attack All, Screech, Mantle Burst. So Screech lowers the defense by two. Uh, metal burst. Uh, metal burst. Uh, I think that's a lot of damage, but I forgot what the effect is. It's like letting you target and it fires off with a huge amount of attack. Not entirely sure here. It also has Trained Body three, Sun Spirit three, Tough Cookie, Ripple Effect nine, Safety Teaver, Sentry Entry two, Power Reserves nine. 
and a towering force. So uh, raising defense by two at the very start. Interesting. And of course, using Urshifu is a good choice. You can use Archie, May, Seeing the Grimsy lowering the defense as well. I had Conflict, Rock Team can lower the speed of everyone. Screech can lower the defense of everyone as well, so be careful. Probopass at the side, having uh, Rock Tomb, Dazzling Gleam, uh, and Rock Slide again. Sandra Entry 1, Tough Cookie, and X Special Defense, so weird. Rampartless with Crunch, Bulldoze, Rock Slide. Uh, lowering the speed, lowering, uh, lowering the defense, and causing flinch problems. Ripple Effect again, so be careful. Best to use Arshifu, Max Move just kill the Agron. But with May and Archie, you should be fine. We have many water options, so choose whatever you want. Cradle with um, Psychic, Earthquake, Zen, Headbutt, Psychic Terrain, and best there is. Psychic Terrain is another problem. You can solve this with Grass, Grassy Terrain, which most of you guys don't have, unfortunately. So, we have a problem here. Weird Vibes 9, Weird Vibes 1, pre precognition 2, Premoniation 2, Opening Blockade, All About Flinch, Lowering the Special Defense, Giving a Move Gosh Boost. Best that is Racist Defense by 1 and giving a sure crit. Lunatone with the Asian Power Zen Headbutt and Rock Slide and X Special Defense Saw. Soul Rock with Rock Tomb, Zen Headbutt. X Defense Saw and Rock Slide. Interesting. To solve Psychic Terrain Ishii, I think the best is to, is to not let him set it. So like, flinch it. Don't let him set up terrain. I think that's the best way to deal with it. So yeah, if you don't let Steven set up terrain, I think you would not have much of an issue here. And this ground week stage isn't really relevant, so I'm not gonna go for it. Let's take a look at um, wireless wireless. <coughs> Sorry. Wireless and tentacruel. Poison jab, bubble beam, waterfall, X speed, or toxic special shield. It's a poison type with a uh, less confusion five. And train mine, catalyst, star heart three, toxic power five, and verdant toxin five. So uh, toxic, your Pokemon. And then the sing move would be 50% more damage, which really sucks. So yeah, the best way is to cure status. Reflection, status immunity, antitoxin, um, just cure the status condition. Or just don't get don't get status. Maybe um flinching it is always the best way because it prevents the move it prevents the move. Surviper with Poison Fang, Aqua Tail, X Defense All, and Sludge Wave, Toss of Power 3, unfortunately. Poison Fang has a chance to poison you as well, and Sludge Wave has a chance to poison as well. Arbok, same, Earthquake, Poison Fang, and Aqua Tail. What? This thing is Aqua Tail? Weird. But anyway, the Arbok, uh, Aqua Tail can miss, Poison Fang has a chance to poison, and Earthquake just hits hard. So yeah. As I suggest, lowering the attack will be a good idea because it has an insane amount of answers. No, sorry, uh, insane amount of attack. Sorry, I'm just looking at Steve Harvey. Uh, yes, it's in a, an insane amount of attack. So if you're trying to lower it, it will be a good idea. But I think the best way is just using things that losing me and just KOing it as quickly as possible instead of dealing with it. Ludicolo. Hydro Pump, Water Pulse, Blizzard, X Special Defense All, X Accuracy All, Grand Illusion, and Water Sink Beam. Lesson Poison 7, Team Pinpoint Entry 2, Awesome Environment 4, Free Synergy 4, and Robust Physical. So, um, Blizzard, 70% Accuracy, Pinpoint Entry 2, X Accuracy All will become like 90% accurate. And when it hits, it has a 60% chance of freezing you. Boy, this stage is hard. With Parasect, X Scissors, Aerial Ace, Double Edge, and of course it has free synergy for some reason. 
Also, Abominable Snow with Iron Tail and Shadow Ball and Blizzard. And Blizzard does not always hit, which is good. But if it freezes you, it's really, really a big problem. So be careful with freezes when you're dealing with Ludicolo. I know usually when you talk about Ludicolo, we deal with rain. But strangely, this Ludicolo deals with freeze. No idea why. And the Milo deck stage is irrelevant. So I'm not going to go through this. And yeah, I think that is it for going through all the stages. I hope this video helped you out. And yeah, it's impossible to give an exact um it's impossible to give an exact strategy because we haven't even tried the stages out yet. But I hope I given you some insight about um this month's stages and I'm looking forward to it. Especially in 13.5k points, which is rather difficult. So yeah, that's it for the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't enjoyed the Discord in the link in the description below. And that's it. And see you guys in my streams for Hoenn Stadium. See ya.